Christina here and today I'm going to be talking to you about broccoli rob. It's that green leafy vegetable right behind me right here and it's not related to broccoli. Uh, it's just kind of called broccoli rob or rapini. You might see it in the store as well. It's very bitter uh, unlike spinach and uh, the stalks are very fibrous so there's different ways of cooking it. My way is I like to boil it first and then saute it in garlic and olive oil. Some people just like to saute it until it becomes less fibrous. Uh, I don't find that works for me uh, so I boil it but anyway come along with me and I'll show you how to cook it. If you've never tried it before I highly recommend that you try it uh, just to see if you like it. You're also going to need some garlic and olive oil of course and a pot not pot, but a pot. You know what I mean. All right, here it is. It usually comes wrapped up in a pink uh, twisty tie and it looks like this. Uh, so this one here, I've had it in my fridge admittedly for about two days. Um, once you buy it though, you should probably cook it the day that you get it. And it doesn't really um, have a lot of grit in it like some other leafy greens, but I do like to rinse it under the water anyway to get some stuff out. So you'll see that it has uh, thick stalks here. And what I like to do is I like to cut the stalks uh, pretty much off, leaving only the leafy greens. And I don't put these, I don't use these for stock. You can either compost them or throw them away or I don't know, give them to the squirrels or something. But I'm just gonna throw mine away today. And I like to take the stalks off. Again, some people like the stalks, so if you're a stock eating person, um, just cut off the ends, but if you're not a stock eating person, then just cut it off till you get to the to the green part. And that's about it for the prep. It's really nothing to it. I have a pot of water on in the background. I don't know if you can see it. One more thing. You can coarsely chop this too. Uh, I like to do that myself just because it's easier to eat after it's cooked. Not really a big deal. All right, now we're done. My water is back there. Once it reaches a boil, I'm going to put the greens in all at once. Okay, here we have the garlic. I just have what? One, two, three, four, five cloves. If you're not familiar with my garlic peeling trick, you just squash it with the top of a flat knife. And then the skin should come off pretty well. If it doesn't, then you just kind of crack it in your fingers. Sometimes it cooperates, sometimes it doesn't. Whoops, that one is more than one. Look at that. It's hiding on me. Huh. There we go. So you could do this while your water is boiling to kill some time. Okay, as you can see, the water is boiling. And we're ready to put the greens in. Just kind of put them all in there like that. Stir it around a little bit. I'm gonna put the lid back on and I'm going to check this after about five, between five and ten minutes I'll check it. I'll let you know when it's done and the way that I determine that it's done is when I take a fork. I have a big fork like this, but you don't need a big fork. I just pierce the stems, and if the stems are soft enough to pierce with a fork, then I know that it's done, and it will. the color will become a little bit more green. It'll be a deeper green. Hey, if you guys don't know my trick for prepping garlic for making your life easier, I'm gonna show you right here. So I just chopped this garlic going to put it in a little container. It doesn't have to be glass container. It just looks pretty. And then I'm going to put it in here as much as I can. It gets sticky, you know? And then I just take some olive oil and I drizzle it in there so it doesn't dry out. Plus it makes it easier for me when I want to go and saute something. It's already marinating in the oil. Uh, I don't know. That was maybe two or two tablespoons of olive oil. Um, and that's about it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So this is after seven minutes and I'm going to start to check the stalks. It's kind of hard but you can always take them out and check them on the counter on a plate. 
Um, these are getting there. I like my socks really soft, so I'm going to set the timer for another three minutes, which will bring it up to 10 minutes boiling, and I believe that'll be enough time. All right, here we are. It's been 10 minutes total, and these are ready to go. Just take your fork. Yeah, they are ready. Now I'm going to drain them in the sink. I'll be putting this pot back on the stove because we're going to saute the broccoli rabe in this same pot and that's so that I don't have to wash another pot. Ha -ha! Okay, this is Chef Sophie and Chef Ruby and they are going to saute the broccoli rabe. Garlic is getting nice and sauteed. You don't want it to burn. Now we're going to put in the broccoli rob. And then you can stir it up. Yay! Go ahead, give it a good stir. Let it go. I'll spread it out a little. Okay. What I'm doing here is I'm letting the water boil out. When I put it in the garlic and olive oil it was a little bit watery so I like to just let it boil down just for a little bit that way it's not sopping wet when you eat it. But otherwise it's looking good, it smells good and obviously you know you add after this you can add salt and pepper and if you want to squeeze fresh lemon juice on it that would be tasty as well. But that's it you have a delicious side dish in about maybe 20 minutes. Ta-da! Here is our finished product. It looks really delicious. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you like it, give it a good thumbs up. See you next time and ciao for now. Ciao for now. All right, while we wait for this, the water to boil down here in the pot, I wanted to ask you, what is your favorite food that mommy makes for you? How about you? What's your favorite food that mommy um, makes? Ice cream. Ice cream. Mommy okay. doesn't make ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's so natural. Whoa, mommy's still there. <laughs>